हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट द एट के जी सेक स्लाइड्स डाउन द स्मूथ रैंप इफ इट हैज़ अ स्पीड ऑफ 1.5 मीटर पर सेकंड व्हेन वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीटर डिटरमाइन द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन द रैम्प एक्सर्ट्स ऑन द सेक एंड द रेट ऑफ इंक्रीज इन द स्पीड ऑफ सेक एट दिस इंस्टेंट so the rate of increase in the speed is the tangential acceleration so we have to find the tangential acceleration now as we are given that y is equal to 0.2 meters so we are given y as a function of x so y equals to 0.2 e to the power x so if you want to find the x coordinate when y is equal to 0.2 so we need to put y 0 equal to 0.2 in this equation so this will be 0.2 0.2 e to the power x so when we divide both side by 0.2 so we can say that e x is equal to 1 so now this is only possible when x is equal to 0 so from this we can conclude that when y equals to 0.2 x is equal to 0 so this means that uh, when y is equal to point 0.2 the sec is somewhere here now we need to find the normal force here right so let's say that um, here this is the profile of ramp so here we will have the normal force which will be acting like this and its weight will be acting vertically downward so we can find this theta of the ramp at this particular instant so if 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 we make a triangle here like this so if this is that ramp angle theta when uh, the sec is here at y equals to point 2 so this will be change in y and this will be change in x and let's say that this is small distance travel ds so from this if you want to find this angle theta if we can apply tan theta so tan theta is equal to dy by dx so if we find dy by dx so we will be able to find this theta so we are given this y as a function of x y is equal to 0.2 e to the power x so if i take the first derivative that will give us dy by dx and this is 0.2 e to the power x and if we want to find dy by dx when y is equal to 0.2 and x is equal to 0 so we need to put x is equal to 0 in this equation so dy by dx when x is equal to 0 is 0.2 e to the power 0 so this will give us 0.2 so this is 0.2 so now from this equation we can say that tan theta equals to 0.2 or we can say that theta is equal to tan inverse 0.2 so this will give us the angle so tan inverse 0.2 so this is 11.309 so theta is equal to 11.309 degrees if i draw a a normal line here if i draw a perpendicular which is normal to that ramp so the normal will be acting like this and the weight is acting vertically downward and if we divide if we define our coordinate system then this will be our normal direction that is toward the center of curvature we can define that normal direction here as well right so like this this will be our normal direction and the normal which the ramp applies is acting like this so this is that normal and the weight is acting vertically downward like this this is the weight which is equal to mg so if this is the case if n is normal with this ds and if the weight is making 90 degree with this horizontal line so this means that the weight is making angle theta with the normal so we can resolve that weight into its component so the weight will have two components it will have one component like this and it will have one component in this direction that is in the tangential direction this will be our tangential direction since the sec is moving uh, from right to left so this 
this is the cos component of the weight we can write that this is mg cos of theta and this is mg sine of theta now if we apply the summation of forces along the tangential axis is equals to m a t so as we can see that along the tangential axis is only the sine component is acting so we can write that m g sine of theta this is equal to m a t so this m will cancel out so we will be left with a t equals to g sine of theta so a t a t is the change in in the velocity or the magnitude of the velocity so increase in the speed of the sake so at will give us the rate of change in the speed of the sake so this is 9.81 sine of theta which is 11.309 so 9.81 sine of 11.309 and this gives me 1.924 1.924 meter per second square similarly if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis is equals to m a n so as we can see that this normal force of the ramp is acting in the positive n direction so i will write plus n minus that cos component of the weight which is mg cos of theta and theta is 11.309 and this will be equal to mass times a n a n is v square divided by rho so at that instant the velocity is 1.5 meter per second so we will write it as 1.5 the mass is 8 kgs similarly the mass is 8 kgs and we need to find this rho so we can find rho using that equation for the radius of curvature so rho is 1 plus dy by dx square to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by the absolute value of the second derivative so now this is the first derivative at x is equal to 0 and if we take the second derivative d square y by dx square so this gives us 0 0.2 e to the power x as well and d square y divided by dx square will be equal to 0 0.2 at x is equal to 0. So now we can find this radius of curvature this is 1 plus 0 0.2 square to the power 3 divided by 3, 3 divided by 2 divided by 0 0.2 this is 1 plus 0 0.2 square to the power 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 divided by 0 0.2 so this gives us 5.30 meters so radius of curvature at that instant is 5.30 meters so now we can put this here so this is 5.30 meters so we can write this n which is required this will be equal to 8 times 1.5 square divided by 5.30 plus 8 into 9.81 cause of 11.309 8 into 1.5 square divided by 5.30 plus 8 into 9.81 cos of 11.309 so this is 80.352 80.352 80 newtons so when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 0.2 at that instant the increase in the speed is 1.924 the rate of increase in the speed is 1.924 meter per second square and the normal force that the ramp implies, applies on that sake is 8.352 newtons.